Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. A little over a week ago, I ordered one of these uh, Alaskan MK3 sawmill attachments for my chainsaw, and it, it arrived. So I'm just going to show it to you what it kind of works like that. But that's what it looks like when you open the box. So I have got some assembly to do. It comes with this, and then with this uh, thickness rails and handle thingy right here, I'm not sure. But I'll get this put together, and then we're going to see how it works. Any of you that happen to be watching this because you looked at the directions and thought maybe I can find it online, <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks, but this is the thrust end, the end that will have the motor on it. So this side is basically getting all tightened up. That side I'm leaving completely loose. And since I don't have any idea where my arm is going to want to be with the handle, I'm leaving it loose too, tightening this one and this one, but leaving the other two so I can adjust it later. Okay, now then when we get to this point in the directions here, now it's time for me to install the, the chain itself, the bar and chain. So the, the model that I bought here is a 30 inch. They have several different sizes. I have a 20 inch bar on my chainsaw, so of course this end here will slide in somewhat. But anyway, now we're gonna put in the chain. The directions say to keep this end about one inch away from the saw. The next thing we have to do is tighten it down. You have to kind of watch it right here because you're getting pretty close to where that groove is so I don't want to tighten it down too far. I am planning on getting a bigger chainsaw and when I do that I'm going to get a, you know a lot bigger bar on it because you really are kind of limited on your log space with the small bar. All right, so I made a set of rails here just for my first cut. You can buy these rails. You can make them out of a ladder, two by fours, whatever. So this will just get my first cut nice and straight and flat. And then after that, the sawmill takes over.
It actually... Okay everyone, well the Alaskan 3 sawmill attachment uh, worked really good. Um, I did learn a few things, I mean I cut some nice boards. These are wild black cherry, these three and those two right there on the right. Uh, those there are from the birch tree, if you guys watched the video, the one that I just cut down last week was it. Uh, a few things that I learned about this is, that's a 20 inch blade on there, I can cut a 15 and a half inch wide log, that's it. So, which is good because that saw is only a 360 or about the same as an 036, so it's running about 62 cc's. I really need to get a bigger saw, like the it's in the 4, I don't know if it's a 441 or a 044 or whatever, that's about 70, 72 cc's and a full 30 inch bar. That extra 10 inches would really be nice on the bar because you could cut something then that was 25 and a quarter inches. And, uh, but you wouldn't want to do it with this saw at all because it still sticks. So um, definitely want a bigger saw if you're going to do this a lot, but I would say that that sawmill attachment worked great. These boards right here, this wild cherry, I looked it up online, running about between $13 and $16 a foot. And this board, these boards right here are a little over 9 feet. So I mean, and I just want it for furniture, but if you were to sell it, I mean, you could do the math paid for itself in one day and I started cutting about 1.30. <laughs> anyway, there'll be more videos on this. Definitely going to get a bigger saw, but I would uh, definitely give a thumbs up to this sawmill attachment. Thanks a lot for watching.